rebirth in a Victorian time more. Well, um, just to orient you, here is Peshawar. This is a sketch map Kipling made up. And then you went up and over the Lowari Pass. Well, Kipling flew into Chitral Town, and then he's headed north. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going up here to the kingdom of Masters. Well, the driver of the Jeep, uh, almost unbelievably, what? He's traveling alone? Oh, yeah. Um, Seekender, share of Zul. Breaks for Kipling because uh, he he's bored and uh, Kipling looks like a fun European hippie in native clothes. But even more curiously, I mean, Seekender's checking her out, huh? Him? Her? Uh, yeah. Looks like uh, uh, he, so far, uh, is from the Adam Zabi tribe. We're talking about tribes within tribes within tribes. This is uh, Adam Zabi is a kind of Chitrali tribe that has ruled this whole northern territory since the 16th century. And like himself, their direct descendants from Alexander the Great. They're Greeks. Oh. In fact, Sikandar, the driver, means Alexander in the Kawari language here. Sikandar, oh, English teacher, history teacher, huh? Uh, delighted to uh, practice his English, British English, and well, uh, show off his in-depth knowledge of Chitrali uh, history. It's a lazy afternoon, good thing, because from uh, Chitral Town all the way up to Mastudge, well, it's a, another a kingdom. We're talking 160 kilometers, seven hours, if the road's not in any way impassable. Yeah, bumpy dirt road. You got to imagine... You can only go 20 kilometers an hour on this kind of mountain road. Luckily, it's flat. It's not up and over <laughs> that damn Lawari Pass. It's flat in here. It's following the river. That's what rivers do. They flatten out the earth. Tame it a little bit. Yeah, seven hours, huh? Lonely back, back road here. Uh, well, uh, Sikander, he's checking out um, his guest passenger carefully because uh, few hippies have ever gotten this far into Chitral, ever. So this is a freaky opportunity. Um strange uh you could pass for the twin brother of our king huh king king sharif uh well tragically yeah king uh, he had a twin brother named latif killed playing mountain polo on the shandar plateau Highest polo field in the world. 12,500 feet. Convert that on your rusty abacus. Call it 4,000 meter polo field. And they use a carcass of a sheep rather than an English polo ball. Mm -hmm. Called Biskashi down in Afghanistan. Huh? They love it there too. Yeah, uh, what happened was uh, Latif her twin on a magnificent polo horse, huh? Well, a drunk magpie ate too many fermented loquats and flew into the face of Latif's horse, and Latif 
right off his horse and over the cliff. Eventually the surf party, the searching party. Yeah, they found they found the body. Splattered body. Royalty on the rocks. Along the craggy bank of the La Spur River, you know. And ever since that horse accident three years ago, oh, the king never smiled, sullen, depressed. And he even gave up searching for an appropriate queen. I mean, as a teenager, he wants a, a queen to ride with him throughout his kingdom. And, uh, well, his only encouraging trait the only kind of hopeful vibe left in the, the king is uh, he befriends and lavishly entertains stray hippies that come into his kingdom like you. Hmm, okay. Uh, with Mediterranean good looks. Are you a clansman of the Al Mook uh, Adab Zabi tribe in London? Well, Kipling courteously answered that. Yeah, I, I haven't been aware of any Metars kings uh, hanging around uh, London. Well, look at uh, Sharif, our king. He would have been the continuing in glory uh, guy uh, if. Uh, the Pakistanis hadn't built that jeep road up and over the Lori Pass. Why did they build the jeep road? They built it so they could subjugate us militarily. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and our Maytar forever centuries privileges. We've had since the, we made the British eat flint in the Khyber Pass. I'm saying 16,000 of them. I don't think so. Better head back for Delhi on that. Yeah, 1950. Uh, you know. The same year our King Sharif was born, it all just like started to go down. Well, 17 years old now, King Sharif, he holds court, summer palace, uh, young, good-looking strangers. Uh, and look, uh, Sharif's your age. You're the same age. And you look alike. It's freaky. Well, in the night, Sharif smokes opium. <sighs> opium, pure opium. Um... In the decaying summer palace of Mastuj, where he insists he hangs out with the phantom specter of his dead brother. <laughs> Royal recluse, yeah. Venture outside, mm mm. Oh, well, to inspect the vast uh, cannabis harvest up north in the fabled Yarkon Valley, where the king oversees the pressing of the dried cannabis into moist 100-kilogram blocks for sh wholesale mule train shipping. 100-kilogram blocks. 240-pound individual blocks of assassin hashish. And then he deputizes some fearsome warriors uh, to make those daring mule runs the forbidden way. I mean, he only got 20 passes to choose from into Afghanistan. Yeah, get it out of here into the Afghans where they appreciate good shit. All right? 